Hello everybody, this is Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over my day one submission for Clone Comp. This video specifically is going to cover the filtering functionality on this build. We are using the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. CMS library absolutely works with CMS, but it also works outside of CMS. You can filter anything. And in this case, we are not filtering inside the CMS. We are filtering this static structure. So the CMS library still works in this instance. What we will be going over is how to make this filtering happen. Watch as I go and click on super happy people and filter out the rest of the items. Then I'll filter in Webflow users, then WordPress users, then the angry people. And you can see as I go and remove people from the ship, we are going to continue filtering in this list. Awesome. Okay, let's go over how this is set up. Let's get back into the Webflow build. We'll first go over the important classes that we need. Then we'll jump into the custom JavaScript and see how those classes go inside the code. First, we need a wrapper around our filter buttons. We are giving an add-on class to the rev control panel list, and that is called the parent filter wrapper. This is a div that is holding all of our filter buttons. And you can see here inside, that inside this list, we have our four filter buttons. We have the happy people, Webflow, WordPress, and angry. So this is the important class we need to say, hey, here are our filter buttons. That's the parent filter wrapper. Next, we need a data attribute on our filter buttons. So if I go up to our rev control panel list item and then go to the settings for that div block, we'll see filter by happy. And if we go to the next one, we have filter by Webflow, filter by WordPress and filter by mean. So every single one of these has its own filter by attribute and that attribute is going to search for the keyword inside our people list here so filter by happy is searching for the keyword of happy in all of these items and you'll know that we see happy right here same with webflow it's searching for the keyword of webflow and we have webflow here so it's going to filter that item and you guessed it, WordPress, mean, it's all here. So we are filtering by these keywords and then it will filter the correct, my video's in the way here, but it will filter the correct people. Awesome, okay. Now we have our filter button set up. We have our containing wrapper set up. We need to say which items we are filtering by. So if I go up to our person filter wrapper, that's the class that we are working with here. And the person filter wrapper is going to hold all of the items that we want to filter by. And in this case, we're filtering by our person groups. So we have our person group for happy people. We have our person group for Webflow users. We have our person group for WordPress and for meme. All four of these groups are inside our wrapper person filter wrapper. So that's the class to say, hey, this is our list that we are going to filter by. And then we have our clear items class. This is going to clear all the people on the ship. Let's go see this working live. We have 32 people on the ship, super happy. Let's go and clear that rocket, kick them off. So I can go and add someone, add, and then clear rocket is going to clear those people out of the rocket or clearing the filter. That is a class of clear ship. So clear ship will be used to then go and clear all those people. And the last class that we have is an active class. You'll notice that when we go and bring people to the ship and away from the ship, they are moving back and forth. This is actually done with a single add-on class as an active class. And if I go up to my item and add move to ship, it's going to move that person to the ship. This is our active class. So if the filter is active, the active class will be added, which then moves that person to the ship. Excellent. That's what we need in terms of classes. Now let's go into 
the JavaScript and see how those classes work with this build. And I will go and remove these move to ship classes inside designer. Didn't want to do that. Great. Okay. Ah, and also this is good to know. You see how they're moving nice and smooth here. Move to ship. We are adding a transition to that base class to make this nice and smooth. We have a transition of left 700 on our base item. And then when we go and add that add-on class, we have our left at negative 120. So that left is going to transition at 700 milliseconds. Awesome. All right, we have those classes. Let's get into the JavaScript. Let's see this working. Now we will go into the body of the page. And this first script here is managing our filter system. We have the CMS library up here. We are going to first create a function and we are going to create a variable called people to save. We'll have a new FinSuite library instance here and it's going to be targeted at our person filter wrapper. This is the wrapper that's holding all of the groups. It is this wrapper here, the person filter wrapper holding all the different people groups. Let's get back in and we'll go over our array. We are creating a variable called my filters, which will be a list of the different filter groups that we have. In this instance, we only have one filter group. That's our parent filter wrapper. The parent filter wrapper is this containing wrapper here that's holding all of our buttons. And then we are establishing that filter wrapper as filter type multi. That means that multiple people or multiple items can be added to the ship. When we click on happy people, they're added to the ship. When we click on Webflow people, they're added to the ship. That would be multi. If we change this to exclusive, that would mean only one group of people can be on the ship at a time, but we want multi here. Great, so we have our new instance, the person filter wrapper, it's the, risk, the list we're going by. This is the array or a list of the different filter groups. Uh, filter groups is not the right word here because we have groups of people. Uh, this is our, our filter buttons, the, the UI that's going to actually filter our list. And then we are going to run the filter on our new instance. So we have our people to save. We created that here. That's now a variable. Let's now use that later on in this code, people to save. Not that, people to save. We will run filter on our people to save and we will use our array of my filters. So let's filter the list of people. Let's use the UI of my filters, which we established here. Let's add our active class, which is move to ship. That does that, transi that transition left on the, the transition moving to the ship. That's the active class. And then we have the filter reset button. That's clear ship. That's that clear button down here, right behind me. And that's going to clear the entire ship. Then we have an animation. This is optional. This is the default animation of the library where we are enabling it, 200 milliseconds, ease out, fade and translate. If you have never seen the CMS library before, there is a bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, it is extremely, extremely easy. A ton of people are really enjoying the use of this library. So if you want more, please go to cmsdocs.webflow.io. We have a full documentation of all the items, all the components inside of our library. And if you don't really want to write the code, if it's super, super confusing, we have this visual script writer that will let you go and set that up very easily. So let's go and set this up right now while we're on the video. We have our person filter wrapper and that's going to be our CMS class list. Great. Then we're going to filter. The filter wrapper is going to be our parent filter wrapper. Let's go and put that in here. The type is multi. We're not gonna add a new filter wrapper because we only have this one group to pick from. And then our active class will be move to ship. Awesome. Move to ship. 
We will add the animation here. We had a duration of 200. Let's go with easing. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's do the same thing. Fade and translate 20. All right, let's go and fade and translate 20. Cool. So we just wrote this script right now without actually writing any JavaScript. It's all here for us. It's exactly the same. You will notice that there is no option for filter reset. This is built into the library. It is not yet live in the production, the production script, but it is working. We're using it here in this clone comp day one submission. Awesome. That's it. We just went over the entire filtering system. It's all set up. It is totally understandable if you put in the time and really figure out how it works. If you have questions, please go to sweetjs.io. Go to our Slack channel and ask us any questions you have about this. We are totally here for you to help you implement this in your own way, in this way. Questions, anything, we are here to help you. Keep watching and we will go over the rest of the scripts on the site that go over adding people, removing people, and counting people on the ship.